gonna be climbing that plant sim like a tree. <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm Kelsey and I'm single. So I thought it would be funny if I tried the occult baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and you're supposed to have a baby with every occult. In The Sims 4, there's some rules to the challenge. If you're interested in those, the link will be below. But to be honest, I don't always follow the rules. I'm kind of a bad girl. <laughs> yeah. So this time I'm hoping to have a baby with a plant sim. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. To have a baby with a sim that looks like the jolly green giant. Who doesn't want that? Except for this sim is gonna be one of my favorite sims. Kyoshi, you know. So let's hop in to my favorite household, the Impeach Schmace. Whoa, she's so pregnant. I think we're gonna have the baby any minute now. Well, back to the downstairs. We've got Liv, she's chilling. We need to get up a skill to level three of Liv's. And you guys all said that you wanted her to play violin and to be interested in the paranormal. I think that's perfect. So let's get her one of those tables, the seance table. I think that really does suit her. There we go. Oh, that looks perfect for our girl. So why don't you commune with the departed? We're gonna get That's into this. Not. Oh, Liv. While she's going away at that, let's check in on our Marina. Marina will probably age up this episode. We've got thinking potty and imagination left. And Eve, have you finished up all your skills? No, you still are level four of robotics. So once Eve is all done, she should come over here and- Oh no, in the house. I feel like Liv has kind of gotten some ghosty guidance here. This house is not safe for our children at this point. Oh my gosh, is Merlin making mac and cheese in there? Yeah, a perfect king. Reach cooking level five. Love that for him. It will be enough for the whole family. I mean, they'll live on that mac and cheese, I want to say, for years. Live almost to level two of being a medium. I love these three in here. Crafted away. Liv is really making all of the lights in the house flicker. You hear the faint sound of a modem connecting to the internet, but it sounds almost like a ghost. Oh my god, Chelsea's in labor. All of this hubbub with the lights and like being haunted has made Chelsea go into labor. She's like, I am stressed. And Chelsea, what are you cooking? A tuna casserole. Chelsea, you are in labor. This is no time for tuna casserole. She must be having a craving. Although I feel like this is a little late in the game to be having a craving, but I'm gonna let you finish. Oh my goodness, yes, Liv. She can now host seances with other Sims. Group seance provides increased benefits. Teamwork makes the dream work. Ooh, maybe she'll have all her siblings help. That would be so cute. That was terrifying. Hearing that knock at the door. Oh my gosh, Liv. Okay, why don't you invite Quinn and Greg Jr. to seance with you? I feel like they definitely would. Is your tuna casserole done yet, Chelsea? Oh God, Chelsea, that looks terrible. Ooh, the quality is so poor. I'm gonna throw that out. That's gross, Chelsea. Just go to the hospital. We're gonna join her. We're not gonna have anyone else come though. Chelsea, go have the baby. Oh, and our doctor's a ghost. Oh my gosh, and the nurse is a ghost. It's that time again uh, where You've had enough sim generations that the doctors and nurses all end up being dead, but decide to still go to work. It's a girl! Oh my gosh, literally it's been so long. It feels like I forgot whose baby this was. It's the flower bunny's baby. I'm gonna look at your guys' comments because a lot of you left really cute ideas for baby names. So a lot of you went for like a Who Framed Roger Rabbit kind of energy, which I like. Okay, we went for like a Space Jam, like a Lola bunny. That's kind of cute. But honestly, I just feel like bunny as a girl is such a cute name. Only a few of you said bunny, but honestly, it's just so cute. You guys might hate me because it's such a cheesy name, but I love it and I'm gonna name her Bunny. Bunny is joined the family. I'm sure you're all like, Ugh. <laughs> I don't care. I like it. It's Cute. Okay, Chelsea, go home. Yes, you had that baby. It's baby making clock. It's also time at last to let go of our beloved fancy boy, Merlin, which is wild. It feels like we'd never let Merlin go. It felt like he was a staple of the household. He's been here so long, but it's finally time to move him out, which means we have a new room available. So when Marina ages up in this episode, she's gonna have a room. That's perfect. She won't have to sleep in this little area. We love you, Merlin, my sweet boy. You know, I didn't love when you flirted with my ex-lovers, but you really screw with the crap out of this house. I'm gonna miss you cleaning and being amazing. Goodbye, my sweet son. I'm gonna miss you cleaning up all my messes. Oh my gosh, I'm already sad. But I'm not sad because then we get to see what Kyoshi Ido looks like as a plant sim. Eyes on the prize, Kelsey, eyes on the prize. All right, we're gonna move him out. He's gonna start his new household. It'll be second generation because the other household is too full. So goodbye, Merlin, we love you. Okay, we got a new baby. 
Uh, we got a new baby. Yeah, yeah. Amazing! It's time to seduce a man. So let's find Kiyoshi Ito. Where are you, Kiyoshi? There he is. Let's invite him to hang out at my lot. Hello, Kiyoshi. Brighten his day. Discuss fears with him. Flatter him. Oh, wow. She's just really starting off with the fears. But he's walking us through it because he's a good friend. Oh, Kiyoshi. We love you, you hottie. Kiss his hands. Oh, they just got a sentiment. Oh, now he's flirty. He definitely has a crush on us. So Kiyoshi, we're going to have to go manage worlds and have Kiyoshi move in with us and then go to our little love nest again to have babies with Kiyoshi Ito. And then I'm going to have to remember to take a photo of him in his plant form. We're gonna create a new household and we're gonna move Chelsea in. Goodbye, my lovely family. We love you. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up Chelsea. Now we need to move him in with us. Mount Komorebi, baby. Okay, the Ito family. Ito, 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 Ito. There they are. Wow. They have some fun new additions to the family. Also, Kiyoshi's not in there. What? Where is he? We're going to move into our love nest. We're kicking the flower bunny out. We're evicting you. Goodbye, flower bunny. Then I'm going to invite Kiyoshi in and then add him to my household. So I don't need to know where he is. I am a little nervous he's married. But you know what? He's doing us a service. He's going to go back, like, having a secret baby and being a plant sim. And his partner might just be like, huh? Here we go. Invite to hang out current line. Okay, I know this is so silly, but this love nest is so ugly. It's been bothering me. And I know it's stupid because originally the theme was love dungeon. I get it, but I just, it bugs me how ugly this love dungeon is. I know we're never going to end up in this love dungeon again, but I just still really want it to be special this last time. So I'm going to make it a nicer love dungeon, okay? I just am. The love dungeon is becoming more romantic by the second. It just looks great. Maybe I should get like a tiger looking. Yeah, like this. Wow, this really is an over the top love nest. But doesn't that look better? I think this is perfect for Kiyoshi to come over. It has a vibe about it. It says, come make a baby with me. <laughs> there he is. So we're gonna add him to my household really quick. Perfect. Now I can make him a plant sim. Make a new plant sim. Here we go. Oh my God. He's a plant sim. Honestly, it suits him. He looks a Amazing. Well, we're gonna go seduce him now. Okay, Chelsea, work your magic on this plant man. Your lust for each other is gonna bloom. He won't be needing miracle grow. <laughs> Kiss neck, yeah. Try for a baby with Kiyoshi. Wow, it didn't take long. They kissed once and into the love nest they go. Plant sim, baby. Wow, that took two seconds. They seem to be having a good time in there in the love den. Oh my God, why is my daughter outside? What is she doing here? She's like, I came to visit you, mom. I love you, is this a bad time? Yes, this is a bad time. Are you sure I would love to come hang out? Yes, call later, okay? Come over to the other house. Our pillows are flying. Wow. All right. We need to take a pregnancy test. I want to see if I'm pregnant with a plant. Come on, Chelsea. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's already over. Exchange numbers. Can I see you again? Oh wait, it can't already be over. We need him to be in his normal outfit so that we can take a photo of him. He seems excited. Make out with him a little bit. Chelsea, enjoy this time with Kiyoshi Ito. You guys talking to us about llamas. Look at this sim. He's so beautiful. Look at those brows. Look at that angular jaw. Ah. She's like, snoosh. Is, what does snoosh mean? Maybe I should be using that line on some potential love interests of my own. Snoosh. <laughs> Anyway, let's take a photo of him. This is probably one of the only sims that if they visit me, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, please come visit more. You might be end game for us. Listen, Chelsea, where are you going? You're going outside to take a photo of him? Chelsea, it's just gonna be a brick wall. What are you doing? You have to be in the same room as him. I love you, but there's just nothing going on up there. Stop it, stop it, okay? Add to group. All right, go here together and then take a photo of him here. Don't move. Oh, the love dungeon's gonna be behind him. Yes, perfect. Ooh, you know, those contrasting red and green. It's a move. It's a moment. We even got some of the pollen down there. Scandalous. A little pollen moment. I don't know what this pose is. It's screaming ecstasy. All right, next pose. Oh, this one is titled Take My Plants Off. <laughs> Perfect. All right, we got our photos of Kiyoshi. We just became very good friends. Let's just find out if Kiyoshi has other things going on in his life. Oh my God, he's married. To Bella God? Oh my God. 
oh, she's married to Bella Goth. And they have one, two, three children together, plus the two adoptive children of Cassandra and Alexander. Wait, no, Kiyoshi only has two kids. These are all Bella's kids. Oh, Mortimer Goth died of old age and Bella remarried. These are all her children with Mortimer. And then she remarried and had one child with Kiyoshi. And then Kiyoshi had a son with this other parent, London, who has a child with her current possible partner. Oh my God, the love lives of my Sims are wild. I cannot believe. I just seduced a married man. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kiyoshi. Okay, we gotta move him out. We gotta move him back in with his wife. All right, everybody out. I had a suspicion and I should have checked. I should have asked if he was single. I think I've just wrecked a family. Oh my God. I don't know where his family is. I don't know where to return him to. Ito, that feels right. Bella Ito, there he goes. All right, move back in with your wife. Nothing to see here. Okay, well, the love nest is now officially empty. I don't think we'll be using it again because I'm going to try to get abducted to be impregnated by an alien. We'll see how it goes. We're pregnant, we're home. It's like nothing changed. Back to business of seancing. And you, why don't you keep tinkering? And you, Marina, what do you need to work on? Imagination, why don't you play some dolls? All right, here's Liv. She's bringing the fam. Oh, I love that look on you. The sleeveless moment. Honestly, you should wear that more often, boy. It's a family seance. She's trying to commune with possibly Quinn's father. Bunny is very hungry. Oh my God, I forgot about Bunny. Everyone's seancing. I'm so sorry, Bunny. Kelsey's gonna have to let go of the seance. All right, Bunny's birth certificate is right there. Ooh, and we also have our new photos to add. Kiyoshi Ito out of frame. All right, great. Kiyoshi's here. We got one last spot for one last parent. The one problem of being abducted is I don't know if we'll be able to take a photo of the parent, but we can try. Okay, Chelsea's like, ah, I gotta go. Sorry, I gotta go take care of Bunny. These three though will be vibing. Oh, we're getting some reaction. Oh my gosh, Liv is loving this. The living here talking with me. It's been so long since I've conversed with someone non-departed. I don't even know where to begin. How about those sports team? Is breathing still a thing? Apparently the ghost freaked out our girl, but inspired Liv. How's Eve? She's still getting there with level five. And oh no, there's still the bubbling vat of mac and cheese that was never finished. A waste, a waste if we've ever seen it. You know what? Quinn's gonna finish it for him. Here we go. Love it. Marina went to sleep. Oh, her imagination went up quite well. Great, thinking and imagination are looking pretty good. Just potty's a little low, so we need someone to potty train her. Oh, she's angry. Ghosts are jerks. She did not like the ghost. I love that Quinn just sat down with her and is gonna chat through her while she's trying to commune with the dead. Wouldn't it be fun if something terrible happened tonight? Oh, spooky. The ghost was very haunting message. Liv loves that stuff. She's almost to level three of the medium skill, actually. We might get it done before school today. Okay, come on, come on, come on. One more, one more. You're almost there, sweetie. They're coming soon. Better think twice about opening the door. Ooh, my gosh. Maybe she's communed enough for today. We reached medium level three. That's fine. Let's get you to sleep. You want to nap for a bit? Why don't you go nap on the couch since you don't have a ton of time before high school today? And then we'll get you your next lovely gift, which is a violin. So we'll go with the white one. Eve is a little uncomfy because she got her finger when she was playing with her robotic station. Oh, is this done? Oh, it is done. How great. Oh, she's gonna grab a serving. It's so cute. You gotta eat that. Well, now we have a vat of mac and cheese for everybody. <laughs> Marina, you're my next project, okay? Get you up. Let's get you thinking. Ooh, she's so happy that she's getting a boost. Amazing, that's going so well. Woohoo, okay, she's done with her thinking skill. All right, imagination time next, Marina. She's such a sweetie, which is great because she's playful. Oh my God, that's going up so fast too. There's gotta be a glitch. Oh my God, she's done. Okay, we just need potty training. Who's gonna train her, mom? Why don't you grab a serving of the yummy mac and cheese and then you're gonna go potty train your daughter. Good job, Marina. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be her birthday today. Goodbye, Liv. Have fun at school today. Marina's apparently going with you. I don't know, she's scared of ghosts. I think her brother's kind of scared her, but then she's going outside to go talk with him. I guess he's playing outside in the puddles. She's a little scared of him, but she's being such a big, brave girl by speaking to him. She's like, my father is a spirit too. The thunderstorm is scary, but will you potty train me? Oh my God, and he fell into the puddle. Bunny is upset, but our daughter's up here. So why don't you change a diaper? Thank you, Quinn, for taking care of Bunny. We 
appreciate you. Okay, Marina's getting potty trained and then she's done. Man, I do miss our Scrooberu boy. We could add him to our club that cleans. I wish we could have more people in our club, but why don't you invite him to hang out? Cause I miss them. How are you doing, sweetie? Did you finish your potty training yet? Nope, but you're close. You're so close. Everyone's coming over. Great. Come on, Marina. Come on, Marina. Quick, quick, quick. You're almost there. Yeah, Marina's done. All my siblings are here for the party. Okay, help Marina blow out the candles, Chelsea. Oh, Kyoshi's calling. He wants to go on a date. I mean, I would love to, but I'm busy right now, but you can come over. Wait a second. You have a wife. I was bamboozled by his beauty. Okay, Marina aged up. I'm gonna let Siri decide. Pick a number one through four. Social butterfly. And then I'm going to have her be like a child of the island. So there she is. Oh my gosh, our girl is a little girl now. Look at her. Her knees are terrible, but she's beautiful. So let's take a look at her in Kaz. Marina. She is gorgeous. I loved her teeth gap as a toddler, so I want to keep her with the teeth gap. And then for her hair, I think I might go with this one. I just think it looks like Marina. Okay, clothes. We're gonna do island living stuff. This is pretty. I like this. And then no shoes because we didn't do shoes last time. And no socks either. Fantastic. Okay, Marina's looking amazing. This is our girl, Marina. And she's so cute. I love her. Little gap in her teeth. I think it's so endearing. Ah! I love her. When she gets older, I want her to have like tattoos, but she's still a young girl, so she won't get her tattoos until she becomes a teen. But here's Marina. She's looking amazing. I cannot wait for a bunny to age up though. I'm so flippin' excited. I'm gonna put her in the silliest outfits. It's been a second since I've had a sim that I could put in super silly outfits. Oh, speaking of silly outfits, I wonder if Liv would fit into the Grim outfit. Hold on, back into Kaz. Yes, I found it. Yo, oh my gosh. <gasps> Shut the front door. She looks amazing. I love it. Yep, this is the second fit for Liv. Anyway, Marina, I'm so sorry you're hungry. Why don't you grab a serving? Oh my God, my poor baby. I really was mean to you. I'm sorry. But go grab a heaping pile of mac and cheese. That's one way to feed kids in a 100 baby challenge. And then while she eats that, I'm gonna go upstairs and change up this room for her because her boy moved out. And we're gonna start with maybe this like read kind of is good. Ooh, I love the pattern on the bottom. It kind of looks warped a little bit on the circular part of the room, but it is what it is. Okay, flooring. I think I like this warmer tone for her. And then maybe we'll cover the windows with this like pink ombre look. All right, beds. We'll do the wicker one. We could do it in the blue. I like the blue. Put one of these in the corner here. Grand. And then maybe some plants. Yes, yes. Now it's coming together. Together. It's looking a little cute. We'll give her a little cobble bowl here. Little grappled arm hook. Cool. Definitely one island rug. We'll do like a blue. Yeah, that's pretty. I actually really like this slapping man. That's cool. We'll put that here. It also kind of covers the seam of the wall. Oh, we could put this little wicker chair. Oh my gosh, how cute is this wicker chair? All right, I think the room is done. I think it looks very nice. I'm happy with it. Oh no, and Marina's passing out. Marina, I'm sorry. I goofed. But Liv's grades up. Oh my gosh, Liv is an A student. Congratulations, Liv. You are now can be an adult too. You don't have to go to school anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh, all the family's over. Happy birthday, Liv. Everyone's so distracted by the ghost that they didn't even pay attention. Okay, so she is a slaw. She is gloomy. And I'm gonna have her be a loner. You know what? She's gonna want to be a musical genius. Yay, there they go. They're all celebrating. Good job, Liv. But she's now feeling flirty. Interesting. Well, Liv, you you are tired, so why don't you go off to bed? Marina is asleep in her room. I love this. Ooh, and my baby is crying. All right, mom is going upstairs. Oh, my daughter's running out. She's like, I wanna go. This storm is getting bad. It's kind of spooky. Yeah, it is kind of spooky. How's Quinn? Quinn's doing great. How's Eve? She's a little hungry. I'm gonna go grab some mac and cheese, and then we're gonna work on your skill. You're almost done. And then, yeah, Liv needs to finish medium, and she also needs to do her violin. Who's outside in the rain? Oh my gosh, get inside, Ariel. 
dog. You poor thing. Chelsea, what are you doing? Chelsea's just walking in circles being very, very pregnant. Eve is working on her skill. Good job, Eve. You got this. You got, oh, that would hurt. She's thinking about her sibling. She's thinking about Liv. What a cutie. Oh my gosh, Ariel, stop punching our blurfy. She's so mean. She never learns, does she? Quinn, go talk to Ariel, your sister. Go brighten her day. I remember she tried to like raise you a lot. So she thinks we're funny. Of course we're funny. It's fun seeing them all grown up together. Cuties. Yes, Eve has reached level five of the robotic skill, which means she is officially done with the challenge. So we can move her out whenever we need to. Liv is next on the docket. Oh my gosh, it's almost Bunny's birthday. I'm so stoked. Quinn's asleep. Eve went to bed. Ariel, as usual, is bullying Greg Jr. As she always does. Had a very aggravating conversation with her. He's gonna go take a feral poo because he's so mad. Greg Jr., your nemesis Ariel is left. Hopefully you'll be in a better mood once you wolf down this meat. He's so angry. Why don't you calm down in your room? Maybe watch some TV. There he goes. He's happy now. Okay, no, he doesn't want to watch TV. He just wants to go to sleep. Good night, my werewolf son. Chelsea's getting ready to go to bed. Everyone's asleep. Why isn't it fast forwarding? Is someone here? Merlin! Oh my God, Merlin got electrocuted. Merlin, go inside or leave. Don't die. If Merlin dies, I'm gonna lose my mind. Merlin! Okay, thank goodness he's leaving. Oh my God, that scared the crap crap out of me. Or maybe he would get superpowers. That's true. That would be kind of cool. Oh, Bunny is upset. Mom, we need to fix Bunny. Wait, is today Bunny's birthday? <gasps> it is today Bunny birthday. Okay, I'm gonna wait though. I'm gonna be patient. It's only 2 a.m. Eve is gonna use the toilet really quick and then I think she's gonna clean it. She's like, this is nasty. Feeling a little grubby. We're gonna take a shower and then we'll go downstairs and grab some of the mac and cheese. <laughs> oh, it's empty. No, our mac and cheese. That's okay. Why don't you grab some leftovers from the fridge? These two are hugging. Oh, Marina and our sweet baby Liv. So cute. I love these two. These guys are up very early. It's 4 a.m. and they're all up ready to go. He could not be me. Liv is coming over. She is beginning her skills of violin. Love this for you. She's not very good, but she will get better. Marina learning valuable lessons. She's such a good girl. Oh, Liv is sad from just being gloomy. Eve is enjoying her video games. Looks like she's watching a streamer. Ooh, who is that? Oh my God, that game is PT. I played that game. How cool is that? Oh my God, they mimicked PT. I am so invested. Oh, nice little jump scare there. This is so cool. Oh, Marina is asking her big sister for advice. Saying last recess, no one wanted to play with me. Well, Marina, you haven't been to school yet, but maybe this is a hypothetical. If at recess, no one wanted to play with me, what should I do? Uh, ask other kids if you should join in. Eve is giving actually very, very, very good advice. She needs some fun. She's wanting to watch civic public access television to have fun. And her fun is going up. Okay, we love that for her. Liv is stealing her violin. We're almost at level two and we're level three of medium skill. So fabulous. Oh, and look who's here. It's our brother. Oh, Merlin came over. Merlin, Merlin. Merlin, come inside. Give him a hug. He looks like he needs some TLC. Possibly he's not taking care of himself very well living alone. He's used to being surrounded by his family. Order Merlin to clean. Go clean, Merlin. Oh, and he doesn't like that she asked that. He's kind of mad at her. Go share that big news that you're pregnant because technically Merlin doesn't know because he moved out before you got pregnant. He's like, wow, that happened very quickly. Third trimester in 13 hours? This happened so fast. Oh my gosh. I felt like we were pregnant with Bunny for 10 years. Wow. How are you doing, Liv? She's fine. She likes it. How's Greg Jr.? He's such a good boy. His werewolf stuff is a little high. We might do a little bit of somber house. Oh, Luna resistance. That might be a good one for him. While full moon is a glorious sight to many, it sparks dread for some werewolves. A werewolf will no longer feel its influence on their psyche, letting them explore the night unhindered. That might be good. I'm gonna do Luna resistance. Give him some fun here. Do a little wolf nap. Maybe that'll help lower his fury. Okay, Bunny is crying. Mom, 
come get Bunny. Oh, Quinn's making food. Probably just for herself, but still, it's nice. Okay, Eve got here first, so apparently Eve will take care of Bebe duty. She's level two of parenting already. Good job, Eve. Ooh, Liv is now level three of violin. Good job, Liv. It's slowly doing very well. Her needs are still pretty good, so I'm just gonna leave her on the violin. She seems to be having a good time. Chelsea's coming downstairs. She's gonna browse her books. I think this is a tome of some sort. Yep, it's a vampire tome. She's missing her vampire girls. She's like, oh, vampires are so interesting. Just like my daughter. I wonder how Greg Jr. feels about Liv's playing. Let's see. Yeah, it's frayed nerves. Hearing instruments played poorly is distressing to the most stoic of us. He's like, ooh, this is not great, but making a giant vat of mac and cheese is pretty great. Marina's done with the school for the day. How did you do in school today, Marina? Marina. She's an excellent C student. Very good job, Marina. She needs some fun, so we'll watch her favorite show, Civic Public Access. Also, some of you were saying, yeah, free love is on. That's why my lovers keep flirting with my children. It's fine. I'm fine. I cannot believe, Greg, that you decided to eat mac and cheese when there is perfectly good meat in the fridge for you. Look, he's even mad. I need real meat. You should have eaten the real meat. It's in the fridge. Oh, well. Liv is still still stoically playing her violin. She's almost to level four. We'll get there really quickly with the violin. Honestly, it's so easy to just have her chill. Oh, Merlin thinks Chelsea and Future Day was swell and wants to be friends. Of course we're best friends. I love that my child Merlin is my best friend. So cute. Oh, Liv is so close. Amazing, good job. She's gonna grab a vat of uh, mac and cheese. Now we're level four and level three. So she's crushing her skills. Eve is watching her favorite Twitch streamer and our boy is passing out. Merlin, you could just just take a nap in my bed. Like we're besties, it's fine. Oh my God. Can we get our ghostly son to repair this please? He's like, I was spending time with the family, but I will come fix this for mom. Perfect, fixed. Good job, my ghost son. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Back downstairs with the whole family hanging out. It's Bunny's birthday. I do think maybe it is time to age up Bunny. Let's go age her up. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited to see our little bun bun. Bunny aged up. She's a charmer, of course she is. Little bun bun. Oh my goodness, bunny. Let's modify bunny in half. Oh, bunny, are you the sweetest? I wanna make her like the cutest thing you've ever seen. I have this. So we're gonna make bunny wear this all of her childhood forever. Every outfit. There's so many colors. I guess we could change color depending on the occasion. I think we're gonna go with the pink and white and then formal wear is also gonna be the bunny outfit, okay? But for a formal wear, we're gonna go black, you know, black tie. Sleepy time, obviously we're doing the bunny outfit. We're gonna go full pink. Party wear, I think a little blue bunny outfit for party wear. Hot weather, if the weather is hot, we will be wearing a red hot bunny outfit with the sunglasses. But I also think that I would love bunny to have like the sweetest little angelic like looking eyes. Okay, Bunny and Peach Shmay is ready to go. Look at Bunny! Bunny and Peach Shmay! Quinn's gonna come up and transfer Bunny downstairs for us. She looks like she's did a magic trick and pulled Bunny out of her hat. <laughs> bunny, no, Bunny, no, go here. Bunny, how are you going upstairs? Oh my God, the glitch. Okay, go downstairs with Bunny, please. Okay, put Bunny down. There we go. All right, Bunny is hopefully not gonna go upstairs. Let's grab a serving for Bunny. Oh, Bunny giving a hug to our sweet boy. She was still startled by the ghost, but she gave him a hug and is talking to him. My whole heart, Bunny. You sweet angel. She doesn't have a single bad bone in her body. Bunny is going to be the cutest, sweetest little cotton-tailed little baby cakes we've ever seen. Oh my gosh, look at the bottoms of these feet. Actually, one of our Patreon members sent this to me. She said, oh, since you have a bunny coming up, if you wanna use this, this might be very cute for them. I don't think I had anything else for toddlers. So thank you so much, Hollis, for sending this over from our Patreon. I really appreciate it. I think I'm going to leave this one right here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. But next time we will be having the plant baby. And once we have our plant baby, we will start figuring out how to get abducted by an alien so that we can have a full alien baby. So until next time, guys, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye!